Wannan's Majesty is an interesting case of a mid-level set that actually has some utility unlike the similarly statted Elite sets. This is mainly due to the fact that you can start equipping it in Early Nightmare when there's only a handful of potential competitive options, though you will want to eventually upgrade off of each part of this set at some point. The main people who will look at this set will generally be Druids and Barbarians, at least until they reach a solid weapon upgrade, which will negate most of the utility of the set due to most of the best bonuses for it being tied to completion. As an overall set, you'll notice its bonuses are in line with sets like Heaven's Brethren and The Disciple, with plus skills and resists, with a bit of flavor thrown in based on the set itself. In this case, since it's a weapon set, we have Life, Leech, Faster Run, Walk, and Defense, all in reasonable quantities, though due to the weight of the armor, you'll find a good chunk of that run walk is negated by the speed penalties, and unfortunately the only bonuses you get for equipping partials of the set are flat defense increases. So it's usually all or nothing unless you want some of the bonuses from the individual base items. Speaking of that though, on the individual parts we do have some okay bonuses, with some of them being relatively uncommon, especially for their slot. For example, on the armor we have a chance to cast Static Field when struck, which can be pretty nice, though generally you won't want that activating too much, since it's not pleasant being hit in the face, but it can help if you're already being hit anyway. The rest of its bonuses are not terrible either, with some poison resist, pretty significant plus life, and some flat defense boosts. Not a bad amount, but also not an obscene amount. The only big drawback of this part is that it does drag down your run walk speed, as we said earlier, pretty significantly. Moving down first, we have our only normal tier item, the belt, which you will want to upgrade if you plan to use the set, since it's missing a row of belt slots until you do. As far as its mods, it's okay, with lightning damage, prevent monster heal, and a bit of mana recovery in the form of damage to mana. It also has a level based defense bump, which is okay as well. Sure, it's nothing crazy, but it can be fun to run if you find it doing a solo self found run, for example. Though as an aside, not every set belt of this type is going to be Wannan's, since it shares a drop slot with Asaru's. Pretty much in Nightmare and Hell though, you'll have a 50-50 chance of it being one belt or the other, since they're equally weighted. It's just that Wannan needs a level 28 enemy to drop it while Asaru's doesn't. Back to the exceptional items, we have Wannan's Splendor with Cold Resist, pretty chunky Replenish Life, some magic damage reduction, and a decent percent defense boost. Though I wouldn't upgrade this due to the sheer strength requirement of Coronas, which is what it would upgrade to. This helmet would be more interesting to me if it came in at a lower level, since it would pair greatly with Malice, but by the time you're 45, you should be using something better than that, so this usually just collects dust for me unless I'm really unlucky or using the full set for something. And lastly, just like the end of many things, we get the bill, or more precisely, Huanan's Justice. It's indestructible, which is nice to have on a weapon, especially on faster attackers, as well as some okay other mods, such as increased attack speed to make you that faster attacker. It does have some percent enhanced damage, and even attack rating, not to mention a pinch of lightning damage. But what really saves it for me is, oddly enough, the chance to cast level 3 Ice Blast. This is because while the weapon's overall damage is, well, mediocre, this little bit of an Ice Blast can go a decent ways to controlling crowds, and even managing revival enemies because once they're frozen, they're easy to shatter. Would I rather have an obedience or even an insight? Probably, but this is common, indestructible, and has a decent attack speed naturally built into it, so I don't need to use external bumps to get up to the desirable speed in case I don't have any of the increased attack speed gloves or other pieces of equipment. As far as upgrading, I probably would not waste the runes on upgrading any part of the set, except maybe the belt if I was going to use it, just for those extra potion slots. The gain on the rest of the set is just generally not going to be worth it, especially whenever you take into account the raw strength requirements on the percent boost items like the weapon and helmet. Heck, even the armor becomes a little bit unwieldy if you do try to upgrade it. As a set overall, I actually like Wannans as a mid-tier shapeshift druid setup, even though there are better piecemealed options for Nightmare difficulty. This is because they're all relatively common to come across, and if you're into trading, dirt cheap to get, even early on in something like a ladder season. So you probably have no use for it if all you do is tag along for rushes, but playing through, I'm not opposed to using it from time to time. And as always, a thanks for all the support for all the channel members, patrons, and even Twitch subs you see on screen now for making this channel possible.